Hello everyone. So in today's video, we are going to be talking about norepinephrine. Norepinephrine is a neurotransmitter. Theoretically, it should stimulate all types of adrenergic receptors. However, when administered in therapeutic doses, it only stimulates alpha adrenergic receptors more effectively because it has less affinity for beta adrenergic receptors. So if we talk about the actions which are being caused by this neurotransmitter, so it causes cardiovascular effects or actions. So it is actually a vasoconstrictor neurotransmitter that it caused the vasoconstriction of the vessels Neurotransmitter that is norepinephrine cause a raise in peripheral resistance. So when there is increase in peripheral resistance due to intense vasoconstriction of most uh, vascular beds including alpha receptors which are being present on kidney. So what happened? Both systolic and diastolic blood pressure is being increased. So in this way there is increase in systolic and diastolic blood pressure. If you remember uh, that we have learned in previous video of epinephrine that in epinephrine there is decrease in the diastolic blood pressure where there is increase in the systolic blood pressure but in this case of norepinephrine there is increase of both systolic and diastolic blood pressure and why it is so because if norepinephrine does not cause a compensatory dilation of vessels via beta 2 receptors on blood vessels supplying uh, blood to the skeleton muscles. But norepinephrine does not have very good binding affinity for beta receptors. So in this way it only causes vasoconstriction via alpha receptors. So beta receptors, beta 2 receptors which are being present in skeleton muscles are not being dilated by the action of beta receptors through this neurotransmitter. The weak beta 2 activity of norepinephrine also explains why it is not being useful in treatment of asthma and anaphylaxis. Because in uh, epinephrine video we have learned that uh, epinephrine can be used for the treatment of asthma and anaphylaxis because it has B2 activity which cause bronchodilation as well as inhibition of the release of histamine from our cell. But in norepinephrine, it is not the case. Norepinephrine do not cause uh, bronchodilation or it does not cause the inhibition of histamine release from our cell. So we cannot use norepinephrine in treatment of asthma or anaphylaxis. So... This is about the vasoconstriction effect of norepinephrine. So now, next if we talk about the baroreceptor reflex. Norepinephrine increase blood pressure and this stimulate Increased blood pressure stimulate baroreceptors, the receptors which are present in vessels, which actually uh, detect increase in the blood pressure. So these blood, uh, blood uh, pressure sensitive receptors are being activated by the increase in blood pressure through the binding of norepinephrine. So what happened? 
when these receptors are being activated wouldn't they cause the rise in vagal activity vagal activity which is actually a parasympathetic activity this activity is being increased or raised this increase in vagal activity produce a reflex bradycardia that is decrease in heart rate which is sufficient to counteract the local action of norepinephrine on the heart so this reflex bradycardia is sufficient to counteract the increase in blood pressure and this effect on the heart although this reflex compensation does not affect the positive inotrop effect of the drug so positive inotrop effect is not being compensated by this reflex bradycardia positive inotrop is strengthening of contractility of the myocardium so this is not effective in positive inotrop that is strengthening of contractility of myocardium so this activity cannot be decreased but this can cause compensation of the action of norepinephrine on heart atropine is a drug that cause inhibition of vagal activity so if we inject atropine before injecting norepinephrine what will happen when this activity is being decreased so now this activity is being decreased there will be no reflex bradycardia there will be no such effects what will happen there will be tachycardia that is increase in the heart rate so this is the vagal activity that is causing local effect on the heart and compensating the effect of the drug so this is how we detected how this reflex bradycardia help heart to compensate the action of norepinephrine so next if we talk about the therapeutic uses of this agent this agent is being used in the conditions such as shock because in shock we need to increase vascular resistance and therefore there will be increase in blood pressure as this agent cause uh, peripheral resistance there will be vasoconstriction there will be increase in the blood pressure which is being required in the condition of shock otherwise it is not being used clinically next if we talk about the pharmacokinetics of this agent norepinephrine is given through iv route for rapid onset of action but its duration of action is only 1 to 2 minutes it is very short duration of action and why it is so because norepinephrine is rapidly degraded into its metabolites metabolites by action by the action of mao and comt that is monoamine oxidase and catechol o methyl transferase so these enzyme actually inactivate norepinephrine into its metabolites and they are secreted through urine now we talk about the adverse effects which are being caused by norepinephrine so adverse effects of norepinephrine are much similar to those of epinephrine which are such as uh, fear tremors tension anxiety 
such effects are also being caused by epinephrine so headache and cardiac effect such as cardiac arrhythmias it can also cause pulmonary edema that is retention of fluid in lungs other than that it can also cause other cardiovascular actions being increased in patient having hyperthyroidism epinephrine and non epinephrine dose should be reduced because there is increase in adrenergic receptors production in such patients so in hyperthyroidism there is increase in adrenergic receptors so there will be more of the adrenergic response which are being which is being going on uh, by the activity of these neurotransmitters so we should reduce the dose of these agents in patients having hyperthyroidism otherwise there will be much more adverse effects other than that there can be hypersensitive responses which are being caused by these neurotransmitters administration if we talk about uh, norepinephrine specifically so norepinephrine is very potent vasoconstrictor and it may cause blanching which is whitening or pale paleness of the skin and sloughing of skin that is shredding or removal of the skin along an injected vein so if this is the vein and you have inject over here so what will happen over it there is skin cells so what will happen this drug is moving al along this way so now there will be vasoconstriction and there will be less of the blood supply to the cells over here so what will happen there will be paleness being caused on this area of the skin other than that there can be shredding or removal of that skin because of decreased blood flow to that area other than that norepinephrine if extra vesication occur it can cause tissue necrosis and what is this extra vesication is actually case of the drug from the vessel into tissues surrounding the injection site from injection site into surrounding tissues so if this drug is being leaked over here what will happen this drug will cause the tissue necrosis because again it is very potent vasoconstrictor and this will cause decrease of the blood supply to that area and in this way there will be tissue dying over here because of that decreased blood or oxygen supply caused by vasoconstrictor effect of norepinephrine so it should not be administered in peripheral vein if possible impaired circulation from norepinephrine may be treated with alpha receptor antagonist we can administer alpha receptor antagonist to treat impaired circulation which is being caused by norepinephrine so what will happen that uh, this antagonist will cause the blockage of the alpha receptor which are being stimulated by the activity of norepinephrine so this will actually cause the opposite effect of that of norepinephrine and in this way it will cause the treatment of impaired circulation 
which is being caused by norepinephrine. So this was all about norepinephrine. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. And thank you for watching my videos.